Okay, uh, today I'm just continuing my Black History Month little short introductions to significant artists throughout um, our history. So today I want to look at Meta Warwick Fuller. Uh, she was born in 1877 and she died in 1968. Warwick was a poet, a painter, and a sculptor. She was a protege of Auguste Rodin, who's a very famous uh, French sculptor from uh, a little bit before her, but um, she she worked under him, him and his tutelage. She was born in Philadelphia. Her mom was an accomplished wig maker and stylist, and her dad owned barber shops, so she came from um, some means. Because of her parents' success, she had access to cultural and educational opportunities that a lot of her peers did not. Based on one of her high school art projects, she won a scholarship to the Pennsylvania Museum and School of Industrial Art, and there she studies sculpture and portraiture. In 1899, after graduating, she goes to Paris, where she studies sculpture and anatomy at École des Beaux-Arts, and this is also where she uh, first meets Auguste Rodin. She became a protégé of Rodin, who said of her, my child, you are a sculptor. You have the sense of form in your fingers, which from arguably the most prominent sculptor in the world at that time is a pretty significant endorsement. Uh, the Paris crowd was astonished that a woman could produce works that depicted such horror, pain, and sorrow. Uh, she became friends with uh, W.E.B. Dubois, who encouraged her to draw from African and African-American themes for her work and to really embrace her heritage and her culture. Besides Rodin, her other mentor was Henry Osawa Tanner, who was the first artist I talked about um, in my February 1st video uh, on this playlist. By the time she left Paris in 1902, she was well known and very highly regarded throughout Europe. In 1903, two of her works were exhibited in the Paris Salon. Uh, she returned to Philadelphia and was largely shunned by the art scene because of her race and gender. So despite all the success in Paris, she comes home and um, is treated quite poorly. In 1907, she became the first African-American woman to receive a commission from the United States government. Um, she made 130 painted plaster figures and 14 dioramas for the Jamestown Tercentennial Tercentin Exposition. She, uh, in these, is depicting slaves arriving in Virginia in 1619 and other scenes from Black history. This piece is one of her more famous sculptures. This one is called Talking Skull, and it's inspired by an African folk tale in which a young man comes across a talking skull. Other interpretations suggest it um, appealed to her because of this desire of communication um, between the generations, between the living and the dead, and calling, calling back to um, her uh, African heritage. Um, and this kind of longing for connection to that uh, somewhat lost uh, heritage and, and lineage. So Meta Warwick Fuller, very uh, well accomplished and fantastic sculptor, painter, and poet. She was also very active in the movement called the Harlem Renaissance, which I might do uh, just the Harlem Renaissance uh, on one of the days in February. But Meta Warwick Fuller, fabulous artist. Have a great day.